the National Party Congress is a closely watched major gathering of the Chinese Communist Party. Held about every five years, it is where major leadership changes are normally announced. The 20th Party Congress will take place in October 2022. During the Congress, party delegates formally approve members of the next Central Committee. Selections happen well before the Congress meets, and since dissenting votes are where the elections are largely symbolic. Elected members of the Central Committee hold their first meeting after the Congress concludes. The 200-strong Central Committee elects the party's top decision-making bodies. The Politburo and its Standing Committee, delegates to Congress, will also elect members of the Central Commission for Discipline Inspection, the Communist Party's top anti-graph watchdog. While the Party Congress has long been among the most watched political events in China, the 20th National Congress promises to be even more significant. It is the first Congress since some major geopolitical developments, including the start of US-China trade war, the COVID-19 pandemic, war in Ukraine, and the latest tension across the Taiwan Strait. Since the last Congress, Xi Jinping's political thoughts have also been enshrined in the party charter, a move that elevated his status to be on par with Chairman Mao Zedong and Deng Xiaoping. But what makes the 20th Congress arguably the party's most important in 40 years is the fact that General Secretary Xi Jinping is expected to secure a third term. Xi will be the first person to serve as the party chief for more than two terms, since the death of Mao Zedong in 1976, bending the unwritten retirement norms that Xi's predecessors had followed. In the lead up to the party congress, many senior leaders have used the term people's leader to address Xi, feeling speculation that his position may be further elevated. Although Xi is China's most powerful leader since Mao and Deng, he and the party face tremendous domestic and international challenges. On the international stage, China's ties with the West have deteriorated since the 19th Party Congress with no immediate prospects for improvement. Mutual distrust has deepened as international tensions rise over Taiwan which Beijing sees as core to its territorial integrity. Taiwan is self-governed after a bitter civil war between the communists and the nationalists in China. Most countries, including the United States, do not recognize Taiwan as an independent country, but Washington opposes any attempt to take the island by force. US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's recent high-profile visit to the self-ruled island sent relations between Washington and Beijing to the lowest point seen in decades and raised fears about the stability of the Asia-Pacific region. Conflicting views on issues ranging from alleged human rights abuses in Hong Kong and Xinjiang to Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine also continue to sour relations with many Western countries. As for China's domestic challenges, the pandemic is entering its third year, and the economy has taken a hit from strict lockdowns imposed as a result of Beijing's zero-COVID strategy. Amid the economic slump, the nation has seen mortgage boycotts by homeowners, supply chain disruptions, slowing infrastructure development, and an increasingly tight job market. During the party congress, delegates will hear a political report summing up Xi's achievements during his decade so far as China's top leader. The world will pay close attention to what the report says about Xi's plans to address the challenges ahead and his overall policy direction for the next five years. As Xi is officially confirmed for his third term as party secretary, all eyes will be on whether Congress will officially name him the people's leader. In the past, only the great leader Mao and his immediate successor, the wise leader Hua Guofeng, have been given similar titles. 
Many will closely watch for hints about the latest lineup of Politburo Standing Committee members, as well as indications about who might be Xi's potential successor. Those questions are among the reasons all eyes will be on what will happen at the 20th Party Congress when it gets underway in Beijing in October. Thank you.